Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so please subscribe and hit the bell button. Also like, comment, share, all of that would be very, very much appreciated. Thank you so much. I always read my comments and I always reply. I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story series about twin flames. It's based on my life. It's called Perception, The Two Yet One, Books One and Two. You can find links to purchase my books in the description box below. You can also find links to view trailers that I created that give hints to the story for each book. I am also reading book one aloud to my Facebook following. I've, re I've read up to chapter five. You can find links in the description box for that too. Those of you who enjoy audiobooks uh, for free here, uh, we're having a lot of fun with that. You might want to join in on the fun. Um, you can also uh, find links uh, for my author's wall on Facebook as well as my personal wall on Facebook. Um, also, I've included um, a link to my friend April's new astrology channel here on YouTube. She is wonderful. She is new, so give her a look. Uh, subscribe. She's awesome. And those of you who would like a personal reading, I am also offering those now. Uh, the information for that is also in the description box. I've also uploaded some live videos on my story, my mission, why I'm a twin flame, why I'm doing all of this. Um, I did some lives on Facebook regarding that, and those links are also in the description box below. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you're attracted to it is when it's right for you. This is the Celtic cross spread. I read it slightly differently than others, so I will explain as I go. Gemini, at, at the heart of everything for you at this time, you are the Empress. This is a wonderful energy to start out with. You are, this is the energy of all the Queens. Um, like the Queen of Swords, you are the master of your mind. The Queen of Wands, you are the master of your passion. The Queen of Discs, you are the master of your health and your wealth. And uh, the, the Queen of Cups, you are the master of your emotions. Um, this is feminine. This is the divine feminine. This is love, beauty, and abundance. You are abundant. You are fully in this power, and this is really super awesome, Gemini. Now, the, the next energy that we read, which is directly affecting what is at the heart of everything, uh, is the moon. Now, both of these are major arcana cards. For those of you who are new to my channel, a major arcana card for me as a reader will indicate that this energy is a part of your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the reason why you're incarnated as the person that you are that goes through the trials and tribulations that you're going through in order to learn to raise the vibration of your soul. So you are supposed to be the Empress at this time and you are full on in this energy which is absolutely beautiful. The energy crossing this however is the moon and the moon is that there's a bit of deception going on in your life. Okay. This, uh, the moon shines only because the sun shines on it. Okay, that's, it's, there's something that's hidden from you. Something that you'll have to use your intuition, or you may already know intuitively that something is being hidden from you. Okay, now the universe, spirit chose to use this card to tell you that this is supposed to be happening to you at this time. This energy of some sort of deception is supposed to be there. It's part of your lesson. And I believe that you will eventually learn what is being hidden from you right now. And, and what you learn is going to be very important. Now at the root of everything we have the Queen of Cups one of the queens. So, although you are currently the empress, 
you may you, you do have some more uh, reflection that needs to be done it seems this is the root of what's going on here for you Gemini and she's upside down and that doesn't have a reversed meaning for this deck what it means is this energy is there but it is not fully manifested it's not in its full power and there is something that you need to reflect upon I believe it's this reflection of your feelings because your body knows things that you don't know and when you feel something in your body it's a reaction it's something that your body knows that your ma your mind may not necessarily know and these are this is Piscean this is a Piscean energy which is very watery it's what I'm feeling that this has to do water also represents the subconscious okay so there's something that you know but you haven't really looked at it yet you haven't really reflected on it just yet so this is giving you this card like this is the, the spirits way of letting you know that it's time to reflect on what you feel and you will be able to uncover you will be able to shine light in the darkness on what is being hidden from you now the energy that is fading out of your life right now is sword energy your your own air energy you know Libra Gemini Aquarius energy this is a, a ten of swords this is an ending this is an ending of say ten lessons ten years of lessons or being stabbed in the back this a broken heart we have a Libra influence up here and we have the Sun on top of that the Sun is happiness now that the, the Sun is rising this is an ending to your your being stabbed in the back okay so know that uh, where however you go forward I'm being told that you're, you're not going to be stabbed in the back anymore you're not going to feel this sense of ruin anymore your um, your heart has already been broken and this uh, after the ten what we have is the ace of swords which is clarity of mind and protection by Archangel Michael so the universe is telling you yes this is was fully manifested but this is over now okay now the next two cards for me as a reader are future cards this is a more immediate future whereas this is a future that will occur after this one yet we read in a clockwise motion and so we read this one first and you're not so immediate future it looks like you're going to have to focus on consistency in your health and your wealth this is um, I I always see I would have blacked this out a long time ago I don't believe in failure that's the reason why I haven't blacked that out because it always gives me the chance to explain don't believe in failure just like the the our divine blueprint we're here to learn lessons there's only lessons there is no failure okay so this this card um, the way it looks is rather confusing to me because what this really means is tending to your garden watching as your garden grows you you have to you can't just plant seeds and then watch them you you have to plant the seeds and, which is what these are this is earth energy you know Taurus Virgo Capricorn there's Taurus right there you have to water them you have to weed them uh, you have to fertilize them you you have to sometimes get dirty and get on your hands and knees to get out slugs and stuff and and so this is the energy this is saying it's not fully manifested yet so it's saying don't forget to keep going and to keep doing the hard work and eventually your harvest will come in your abundance will come in and here you have this fully manifested energy of abundance this is a celebration of sorts an emotional celebration for some people it could represent a third party situation it could represent um, like uh, things like a baby shower you know you could have two parents and a child or you could have a wedding this could be a wedding 
Um, this could be an anniversary. This is cause for celebration. There may be um, a Cancerian influence here. But you'll see here, though, that your abundance is fine. Abundance, abundance. Just don't forget to continue to take care of your abundance. Okay? Now, the next energy that we read is your hopes. And here you've got happiness. So you'll see that this card is right side up. There is a Piscean influence here as well. So this is two cards here. This is very much connected to your happiness. Finding out whatever is eluding you. Whatever your body is trying to tell you of, of this deception that's going on. Um, once you discover it, your happiness will be there. Okay? Um, this is right side up, so it's fully manifested, so your hopes are in the right place, Gemini. Alright, so the next energy that we read is your environment. And this is, um, I'm hearing moving on right away, okay? And this is you not exactly moving on, okay? Uh, a lot of the times I'll explain this card as going on a mental journey because this is what this, this card is called science because you ask a question, you get an answer, and that leaves you with more questions, and you go on this journey, and basically that's what science is, okay? Um, but the traditional... The traditional definition of moving on, in other decks you'll see a figure or two in a boat and the six of swords are in the bow of the boat and the person is moving on from choppy waters to, to uh, more calm waters. And, um, and so this is telling me in your, in your environment you have not moved on yet. You're, you're starting to feel that it's time for you to move on from something. Um, See, your intuition is telling you this. You're starting to feel like you need to move on, but you haven't just yet. Okay, so here we have your fear card, and so now we have three threes, okay? Okay, the Empress card is also a three. So you, at this point, I will tell you to go ahead and Google angel number 333 three, three, okay but this is your fear card and you'll see that it's right side up and um, this is a third wheel type situation you are afraid that something isn't going to work right and the the Capricorn influence here tells me this has something to do with an entrepre entrepreneurial situation the discs are about wealth health this may have this this to me is often a business okay and we've got Mars up here Mars is the ruler of Aries um, Aries Mars is going is in Aries right now and it is retrograding and so this could have something to do with that but this is a fully manifested energy so this is I think something that's already there that you may be afraid uh, is either not going to work or this this could be what's what's nagging you that's this little uh, niggle inside of you that you know something's not right here and so um, it's so interesting when I get these two cards together uh, it's showing me that you you do need to go inside okay while this is a reflection on your emotions, and Spirit was telling me this is about your body, your body knows stuff that your mind doesn't necessarily. Um, this is the Hermit card, and it's, it's upside down because it hasn't quite manifested yet. This is the card of Virgo, and this is all about going inside to pull the star out. The star represents all your hopes and dreams, your happiness, your healing, and uh, only you can make your, bring yourself to happiness. And this is also abundance here. We've got the spermatozoa and the egg. 
And so this is the third reference to, to abundance. I think there's a third thing here that you have to do. There, hmm. Something that has to do with three that you're going to find out what exactly is bugging you here. What What is being hidden from you, um, what your body knows. And then this is all about realizing what brings you joy, what brings you peace of mind, what brings you passion, uh, what brings you your abundance, your health and your wealth. Those are all the earth, air, fire, and water. Water is emotion. What brings you joy? Um, peace of mind is swords. Uh, and what brings you um, health and wealth? That's discs. And um, what brings you, what is your passion? That's wands. So the, the hermit represents going deep inside and finding all of that out. And, combine, and combining that with your, your feelings about spirit. Okay? And once you do that, guess what? You'll be the boss. This is the underlying energy. Here's Aries. Aries and um, Mars was right there. And whenever you get the Emperor and the Empress together, this suggests a twin flame union. This is a sacred union. And whenever you have these two together, what you have is the abundance that flows from it. Now, <laughs> yes, you'll be the queen of discs. You'll be in control. This, this passionate, this three, the three here, this will emerge. There's, there's Aries again, the queen of swords. Um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, master of the mind. There's the two queens. Oh, and then there's the twin flame card. Temperance, art. This this has everything to do, oh, and a new beginning. And a new beginning. Oh my goodness, and success for, for all your good deeds. And manifestation continued manifestation. I just, I, I feel like there is a third step. I, I don't know, with all these threes, it feels like there's something that needs, you need to find out what this is, but it has, it could be three things that you have to find out or three things that you have to do, but you're going to know. Now, how much control do you have over this situation? I gauge that by the number of major arcana to minor arcana. And you have one, two, and three. There, <laughs> three is a very important number. And when you Google angel number 333, three, three, it's going to give you the answer to what is not coming to my mind right now. It's going to tell you why this reading is so important. It has everything to do with a twin, a twin flame love. Um, this could be you, it could be another twin flame, uh, in, uh, a, an influence. There could be people in your life that are a twin flame love relationship. But I think for most of you, this is you. You're going to have this beautiful twin flame love very, very soon. And I believe it's, it's a big part of all the generous acts that you have. It's because of all the good, generous deeds that you've done this whole time that you've had these lessons. You've been good. You've been generous. You've been very kind throughout all these very painful lessons. And the universe is going to bring you all the abundance and love that you need, all the abundance and happiness and love because of that. It's very beautiful, Gemini. I feel the need to thank you. All right, that's what I have for you at this time. See you next time.